Hey, what is going on everyone? Thank you for tuning in. This is a brand new channel for me and this is my very first video you guys are watching and we are going to be doing a review video on the G.I. Joe Classified Flint Tiger Force everyone. So, uh, without further ado, let's dive into the video. Alright guys, before we actually open up and check out the figure itself, let's talk about the box artwork here. So, you know, it's a very controversial topic for most people when Hasbro switched over to a plastic free um, boxing. I personally actually like it because the artwork looks so freaking good. It's actually even hard to tell this is an action figure. I'm assuming it's a render of the action figure, not the action figure itself. If I'm wrong, listen to YouTube, comment below, let me know. Uh, right here we actually have a, a side profile of the actual character being flint we have a picture of the accessories slash firearms that comes with the figure once again this is the figure right here which appears to be some sort of dodge viper in the background once again as i mentioned in the video i'm a car guy so that i could tell you it's definitely supposed to be a dodge viper i don't know if it's related to transformers because i do know there's a correlation between gi joe and transformers but that's kind of the word on the street if you will if we turn the package around a little bit we have another fantastic side profile of Flint himself. I think this is a. And once again, guys, artwork. It's one thing we know about GI Joe, and um, it's just the artwork. I think this looks freaking fantastic. Turning it back around to the back here, we get a definitely a picture of the actual action figure itself, telling you what it measures in at 6.3 inches. We will measure it in the actual video, um, but that's sort of a common thing. These are six-inch scale figures. Um, that we're going with our upcoming six inch scaled vehicles I'm excited to uh, get which is kind of what got me into this line we'll discuss that in a little bit here turning it all the way back around we have a uh, scan code uh, which I'm not going to do you guys can go ahead and, and do that yourselves I think I'm just wasting your time at that point but basically it's going to give you information on the actual figure doing a full 360 here bring it back to the front once again, guys, tell me what you think below. Do you like this new packaging? It's, even though it's not all that new anymore, I know they're going back to plastic packaging. I actually love the artwork, so it really doesn't bother me. So that's just my two cents. Once again, guys, I'm not going to go ahead and unbox it while I'm filming for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and get everything out of the packaging, lay it out so we can further review the figure. All right, guys, so this is everything out of the box. We have Flint himself, his accessories, and I love what Hasbro is doing with the boxes here. This comes with every freaking figure that you could pretty much put everything in as like an accessory box holder which I think is really really neat so before we actually dive into the accessories um, I want to talk a little bit about the actual figure himself Mr. Flint so I'll pull him a little bit closer guys so all right guys let's bring him a little bit closer uh, so we can check out the figure we have double jointed elbows which by the way I am noticing are not pinless I am a newer collector to the series so most of the figures that I've been picking up are pinless but I do understand that this figure is a repaint of a, a one of the more I want to say well actually not one of the original figures but one of the older models so uh, his elbows as well as his knees uh, are double jointed but they are not pinless so i gotta be honest with you i'm definitely gotten spoiled with the pinless figures i'm um, not the end of the world but something to note here um typical it, it, jesus typical i think articulation we see in this figure here that you would that you're used to with most hasbro gi joe classified figures um he is a brand new figure right out of the box so you know he does need to be loosened up whether with some heat or whatever your um desired technique is to do so uh, so we can look down we can look up we can look side to side like i said you know i'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time with articulation it's kind of what you expect from most gi joe um classified series uh not like he has anything crazy kind of getting his way um typical articulation that you would find we already discussed the double jointed elbows and knees that are not pinless so they're pinned um so let's go ahead and let's chit chat about accessories shall we the first accessory up is flint's hat his very famous hat that we like in the tiger force version so we'll go ahead and we will pop that on him real quick this is to me what makes the character so excited to get that on him. Then we have his Rambo knife, as I'll call it, which slides right in over here. What I like about figures like this is when all their accessories and weapons 
for the most part can go right on the figure. It's it's great when you have a figure with so many accessories, but it is, you know, challenging <laughs> and easy to lose them when they all can't be attached on, on the figure such as this one. Next we have his secondary firearm, his handgun, which we'll go ahead and place in his holster here. Looks real nice there. Guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, please comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think of the figure. This is my very first video. Granted, I'm not actually new to YouTube. I have a whole separate channel uh, related to cars. I'm giant gearhead. That's Johnny GT if you want to check it out. But this channel obviously is going to be focused on toys and toy collecting. So if you feel like this was a fun video and you want to see more videos like it, you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.